doesn't feel good today. She's not sick. She's just in heat. <laughs> Bless her. Well, hello, all of you beautiful Bohoish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Bohoish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so today's video is going to be a bit different. <laughs> it was. It, it wasn't the easiest video for me to make because I felt like I was kind of sharing something that's a bit personal, but anyway. I also wanted to let you guys know that um, next week there probably will not be a video because it's Holy Week for those of us who are Orthodox Christian and we have got a lot of things going on um, at church. Um, I will video some of the stuff that's going on um, because I'd love to share it with you. It's really cool and it's beautiful and all of the things, very inspirational. But um, I just don't know if I'm going to have time to edit and put a video together. So I just wanted to be upfront about that. If I'm able to get it done, yay me. If not, you know it'll be the following week. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? I thought I would just sit here while I work on some art and just talk to you guys. And this might not be for everybody, and that's fine, I get it. Not every one of my videos is going to appeal to everyone who checks it out, and I understand. This week has just been a very quiet week for me, and I think part of that has to do with us being in Lent, we're, we're heading into Holy Week next week. And so I've really taken a lot of time to be introspective and prayerful during this time. And I just have tried to limit all the noise, you know, you know what I mean by noise, internal noise. <laughs> so I really hadn't planned on doing anything in particular this week, I've been spending a lot of time working on my art. And the reason for that, some of you may be wondering, because I know a lot of you love my DIYs and you know, all the different things that I do here, which that's what this channel is. It's a little bit of everything. It's really just whatever is going on in my life. But I have, as you know, if you've seen my previous videos, <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time working on my art. It's something I've done throughout my life, just like with writing. The last couple of weeks in particular, it's it's been very, she's been fed like four times, but the squirrels keep coming out and it's making her angry. The reason I've been spending so much time on my art has been because it's, very therapeutic for me. I, I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> um, I have been in trauma therapy for the last year. And it has to do with situations when I was young. Um, not my parents. <laughs> and some situations that just kind of exasperated that trauma in my adulthood and I always knew that I needed help I always knew I needed therapy um, but it wasn't until a year ago that I really took the step to do it and it has been incredibly helpful for me it's helped me recognize a lot of things about myself that you know, I didn't know why I was doing what I was doing or why I was acting the way that I was acting. It, I just, I just was. And it didn't, I didn't even really think about it a whole lot as far as why I would act the way that I acted or why I was, you know, I just didn't understand a lot about myself and why I was the way that I was. So it has been a very helpful 
thing for me to understand why. I'm not getting into diagnoses. I'm not doing any of that. Um, that's personal for me. Um, if I do decide to talk about it at a later time, then, then I'll talk about it. But right now, I'm just not at that place. But I had a couple of months ago just a real drive to return to my art, which it had been years, honestly. I've always done creative things, but I mean like really expressing myself and what's going on inside. Putting it on paper, putting it on canvas. I hadn't done that until recently. All the art that I did previously, I spent more time on realism, I, which to me, for me, it was like a detachment. Like sometimes we don't really want to, we don't really want to, to do anything that acts as a mirror of ourselves, if that makes sense. We, we don't want to see the heavy parts, the dark parts. So for me, my art in realism was more about, a, it was a, 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 a disengaged thing for me. Yes, I was loving what I was doing. I was enjoying it. Nature, the birds, all the things, the trees. I loved doing stuff like that. But it wasn't an it was not an expression of what was going on inside of me. It was a more detached thing, you know? And every time I would visit abstract art, it acted as a mirror to me. And it was painful. And I didn't always know why. I just knew that it was. So recently, I just really felt like I needed to revisit and it's so funny because it started with just collaging which I love collaging it's a lot of fun you know I really enjoy doing some collages um, so I do like to do collage work and I will continue to do collage work but I was finding that abstract was really helping me to very, to get very much in touch with what was going on in my mind. My therapist has strongly encouraged me to continue to do this. It is really helping me a lot. And um, especially right after session, to be able to just process everything through, through art has been amazing for me. That's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I've been focusing my time and energy on. And I know, it, you know, this isn't an art channel. This isn't a, you know, and I'm not a professional artist. Do I consider myself an artist? Yes. Have, but I'm not like, you know, I haven't exhibited, I haven't done anything like that. So don't, you know, don't get the right idea. I'm just, this is what I do right now for me <sighs> I don't even know if I'm articulating this well this may be a really crappy video and I do apologize but I just thought because I have been the last few videos spending a lot of time on art and I've kind of been touching a little bit on how it is what is inside of me is what is coming out I can see progression I can see healing actually taking place. I can see going from a very chaotic state to a more composed state. That's, that's nice. Now I'm just working on this one. I work in acrylics. I work in soft pastels, um, oil pastels. Um, I work with inks. I have these inks that I absolutely love and so yeah so this is the one I'm working on right now um, it's almost finished so I've, I think I've made it through the messy middle <laughs> on that one um, this one is the messy middle it's drying right now 
I don't really like to show things that I'm in the middle of, but this is, this is the messy middle. It's not gonna look anything like this. It's gonna be full of color and um, markings and so forth. This one is finished. And this one is from earlier. And you can see just the difference <laughs> from one of my earlier ones from a few weeks ago to where I am at the moment. I feel like I kind of had a breakthrough when I finished the Phoenix. Um, I'll show you that. And then there's some that are just a little bit more muted and relaxed. There's still a little bit of stuff going on, but overall, it just feels peaceful to me. They're out because I need to, to, to seal. There's things I need to do on some of the ones that are finished. And then there's little touches, like I said, that need to happen. This one isn't finished yet either but I'm getting there. It's getting there. It's still kind of the messy middle. This one I feel is, is finished. Um, and it's very, very peaceful to me. I really, I really like that one. I just felt like I needed to explain why maybe I've seemed a little in my thoughts, why art has been a predominant thing for me in the last month or so and there's a reason because it's it's therapeutic for me and it is helping me to digest the therapy I am going through and going in being having been in Lent which is a very prayerful and introspective time it's been just really good for me I've had to really just I've needed quiet. I've needed to not have to worry about too many things. Um, I've needed, I've needed it. And May is gonna be kind of a crazy month because, well, May 5th is Pascha or our Easter as Eastern Orthodox Christians. It's also mine and Sean's 38th wedding anniversary. I cannot believe it. Mother's Day is in May. Um, Isa's 60th birthday is in May. And both of my parents' birthdays are in May. So I'm hosting a birthday party, a combined birthday party for them in a couple of weeks here. That'll be a lot of fun. And of course, I'll take y'all along for that. Um, I'll also take you along for Isa's birthday. That's another thing too, Isa and Ivy and I, we've just been having, we've just had so much going on in our lives. Me with all this stuff. And then um, Isa, she just had her first grandbaby. So she has been um, there with her daughter and son-in-law. Um, spending a lot of time and helping and she's also been um, assisting her parents in a lot of things so she has been turning and burning and ivy is in the middle of some renovations at her house and so she <laughs> i mean because you know if y'all have been here you know what it was like for me and so she's she's yeah and um, Gracie Rose, her little kitty, ain't having none of it. She's not happy. So hopefully soon we will get back on track with everything. Also, um, because of everything that's been going on, um, Isa asked me if it would be okay if we pushed back Rebecca for a little while because she just has not had time to sit down and read it or really even digest what she has read and to really think about everything that we would be discussing. So, um, it will probably be 
the end of May or the beginning of June. I do apologize, but some of y'all may be like, yay, I need more time to finish. And that's fine. Um, and for those that maybe had wanted to join but thought that you were too late, now's the time. You'll have the whole month of May to read Rebecca. And that'll be a lot of fun. Ivy and I were discussing um, Rebecca the other day and I thought, oh, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a great, a great discussion. And uh, I'm really looking forward. I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, I just wanted to take a moment, like I said, and just explain to you why I haven't done anything super exciting. <laughs> I haven't done any DIYs. I haven't really, honestly, I just haven't had the energy to do it. My energy has been here. My energy has been in a time of, like I said, introspection and um, moving forward and um, letting go of some things and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it can be emotionally exhausting, to be honest with you. I just felt that it was important to communicate that to you. I'm not losing my passion or my joy for this channel. I'm not um, bored. I'm not bored. And I have a lot of things on the agenda that need to get done around here that I can't wait to take you all along with me on. So really, I just wanted to have a heart to heart. I mean, that's part of it. Sometimes I just need I need the quiet and I don't need to feel, you know, um, pressure. And it's not that y'all are doing that all, it's not you. I put a tremendous amount of pressure on myself. It's me, it's a me issue. So I hope that you all understand. I'm so incredibly grateful for all of you that are a part of this um, channel, who have subscribed to comment y'all's encouragement means the world to me it is just such a joy for me to read the comments and how you all have enjoyed my content and um i'm i'm really thankful and i know this is another just an unusual video for me but if you have been enjoying my content and you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. I cannot, I cannot tell you how much it helps. And um, thumbs upping and commenting gets the videos out in front of a broader audience. So the interaction is very helpful as well. And I'm just so grateful to all of you who have, who have done those things and who have really enjoyed what I've been putting out there. So my beautiful boho-ish beauties, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to. Until next time, bye.